My name is Jan Holdman. Today is day 16 of 21 days. My word is determination. The definition is firmness of purpose, resoluteness, firm or unwavering adherence to one's purpose. We find that purpose or determination can be fueled by one of two things, either spirit or flesh. And when determination is fueled by spirit, there's nothing that can stop you. There, your purpose will be fulfilled. Noah was given a purpose. Noah was told to build an ark, and the people all around him told him he was crazy. He didn't know what he was doing. They laughed at him, and yet Noah kept with his purpose, with determination. He kept on it because God had given that, given that purpose to him, and so he fulfilled it. Because of that, we're here today. When, purpose, when his purpose, when his determination was fueled by God's purpose, it was fulfilled. Abraham was an old man. His wife was an old woman, and he had no children. And yet, after at this point, God granted him a son. And he, sat, and he gave him this son in his old age. And they were so happy. And they were so proud. And then God said, I want you to sacrifice this son. I can't even imagine what that was like. But yet, Abraham had a purpose from God. And he fulfilled it with determination. He took that child and he took him to the mountain and he was ready to sacrifice him. He didn't have to because when he got there, God get, gave, with his grace, gave him another, an animal to sacrifice. But the bottom line was that Abraham was going to fulfill that purpose with determination that nothing was going to stop him. Then we have young David. David was a shepherd boy. David wasn't a warrior. David was a young man. They were having a battle. They were having a war. And the, the giant gave them a, a challenge. No one, would, no one would meet that challenge. David was given a purpose. He was given a purpose because he knew that his God was with him. And so with determination, he went out and faced that giant. And of course, he was victorious because his purpose was and determination was filled with by spirit, not by flesh. Well, then we have King David. King David later on, he had a purpose, and it was not a purpose that was given to him by God. It was a purpose that he was doing because of his flesh. He wanted a woman, and so he did. What, he was determined. He had determination that was not going to stop. He was not going to stop, and so to the point of killing, having that woman's husband killed, and so he did fulfill his purpose. But his reward at the end of it was nothing, was not in any way, shape, or form one that God could approve. We need to be aware of whether our purpose is fueled and our determination is fueled by God or by our own desires. Then we have John the Baptist. John the Baptist, was, when he was born, he had one purpose and one purpose only, and he fulfilled it. He was not going to be stopped by anyone or anything. All of the threats, all of the uh, threats to his life, all of the imprisonments, that was his purpose, his, and he was determined that nothing would stand in his way. And then we have Jesus. Jesus had a purpose definitely fueled by spirit and he came and he fulfilled it his determination to follow through and to obey and to do the things that he did are what gives us our grace and salvation today because he was willing in his determination to to 
die for us, to take our sins on his shoulders, that we might live this life, we might have eternal life with him and have it and not be there. And then we have Saul. Saul had a purpose. Saul thought his purpose was a good one. It was fueled by righteous doctrine. And he did a lot of damage. He went, he hunted Christians. He killed Christians. But he was determined that what he was doing was correct. And God corrected him. God corrected him and gave him a new purpose and a new name, and it was Paul. And now Paul's determination was not going to be, still not going to be stopped, but this time it was fueled by spirit. This time he did what God wanted him to. And because of that, we have all of the doctrine that we're able to read in his word. So when you have something you need to do, you need to stop and think and stop and ask, is this my purpose? My, am I going to be determined to do this because this is something I want to do? Or is this something God's giving me to do? And if God's giving it to you to do, you do it with determination and you do it with knowledge and understanding that it cannot fail when it's his guidance. I'm Jan Holtman. Today is day 16 of 21.